Welcome back. I'm Mary Stackhouse. New details emerging after a fiery plane crash in Hawaii last night that reportedly killed 11 people on board. Fox's Christina Coleman has more from Los Angeles. There's nothing left to the plane, and it's right on the fence line. A plane crashes during a skydiving excursion in Hawaii, bursting into flames and killing everyone on board. We saw a big smoke, but um, when we was driving this way, we saw a big fire. Um, firemen trying to put it out. Crazy. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Sorry for the families. The Oahu Parachute Center plane crashed shortly after taking off for a sunset tandem flight. The incident happened Friday evening around 6.30 p.m. local time on Oahu's North Shore. Both the Honolulu Fire Department and the U.S. military dispatched helicopters to the airfield, but the plane was already engulfed in flames by the time firefighters arrived. Rescue teams say some family members of the victims were waiting on the ground at the airport and may have seen the accident. In my 40 years as a firefighter here in Hawaii, this is the most tragic uh, aircraft incident that we had. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell says he is closely monitoring the tragic developments, adding in a tweet, quote, at this time, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of the victims. It remains unclear what caused the plane crash at this time. Hawaii Transportation Department officials say the FAA and the NTSB are taking over the investigation. In Los Angeles, Christina Coleman, Fox News.